Today we're looking at this thing. It's uh, I don't know what it does. We'll figure it out. You know, to the first video I'm filming after Nam and my vacation and loads of Nam videos, and there's more Nam videos probably coming, but now this. Um, the Holly Benton folks sent me this, and I, d I don't know why, because I didn't ask for it, but that doesn't mean that I can't look at it, so hey, cool. So let's take a look at the airborne instrument thing. Wireless something. As of right now, 89 bucks. By the way, have you seen my Unicat sweater? That is awesome. And uh, an un unpaid plug for MrGoogoo.com, I guess. Go there and look at ridiculous sweaters. Um, uh, all I'm hoping for is that they sent me a whole bunch of them because so awesome. So uh, this, by the way, unpaid for plug for this. If it's good, I don't know. So here we go. So I take this out of, I open the thing like this uh, in the guitar cam. Right there. And that's what you see. Looks like a Bluetooth earpiece. Like, you know, like this. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Does he, can you hear me? I don't know. Something like that. And, um, okay, so there's two of them. Sender and receiver. Transmitter, that's what it's called. I always call it a sender, because in German it's sender. A transmitter, clearly labeled transmitter. And a receiver, clearly labeled le receiver in French. Um, and then it comes with a dual, oh, that is neat, a dual USB cable. So you plug in side one, and then you can plug them in at the same time. According to the website, it's uh, six hours of continuous use. Um, once it's charged, so that should be good for any gig. Is it good for the gig and the sound check and all this? Uh, don't know. Uh, of course, sound check and gig is not going to take six hours, but if you forget to, you know, turn it off or whatever, uh, this could be a problem. Six hours could be a problem, considering the fact that you cannot change the batteries. Uh, lithium, ion, whatever, something in here. But you can't go right in front of the gig and change the batteries. You have to just know that. Now, uh, who is the target audience for this? Professional musicians? No. It's for the guy who just wants a wireless system and doesn't want to drop a lot of money. And let's see how this works. Uh, we have the USB in here. And I, I really don't know. I'm completely unprepared. And then on the sides here, there's a... We have no camera set up for any kind of close-up shots. I'm so prepared. So <laughs> It's maybe down here. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that's, you can totally see the detail right there. <laughs> um, on, off. Oh, we have, I don't know, we have a little bit of battery. And then uh, you can set one, two, three, four channels. So everyone in the band can have one. Batteries are three dots out of four, so that's good. It shows you that when you turn it on. See, so turn it on. Three dots out of four should be good for now. Channel one, by clicking on the, on the little thing, you switch the channels. And technically now we're good. Transmitter and receiver, if you ask me, could probably be exchanged. Doesn't really matter which, is, is it one directional? I don't know. Uh, and on the transmitter, there's a little bit of a rubber thing to protect your guitar. Now my biggest question is, how do we connect this to the guitar? We'll see. Let's get a couple guitars in here. First of all, um, I'm going to go and plug this directly into my amp switcher over here. Receiver. Bam. We're good. You can't see that, but it's there. You can't see it, but it's there. Um, so let's take this guitar thing right here. This, uh, this guitar is called a Red Guitar by this company. And, oh my god, is it good. So I plug this down here. Hey. And I fold it over. No. I fold it over like this. Or fold it over like this. No, that doesn't work. So there's a rubber thing here. Can't do that. I can get it out of the way like this. 
Or I can get it out of the way like this. That's that's good. That's kind of bye bye. And um. <laughs> Record the room as well with a brand new stereo LCT340 set that Lewitt sent me. Mics. You need them to hear things. You're hearing the Friedman Small Box 50, which really who cares? It works so far. What's the distance on it, you ask? He did not know. Goes, uh, it says up to 30 meters, which in feet is. It's 30 meters, learn it. I don't know, it's times three. So 30 times three is so that if you have it times two, it's twice as much. And then if you add one more of the original number, it's this much. Three times. 90 feet. Hey, it works. I'm gonna go back there and hopefully Leslie switches to the camera. works in this room I can't possibly go any further from the receiver uh, it's already a good six to eight meters which is uh, that many feet plus times three so uh, as so this is as far as you would get away from the receiver on any stage that anyone who's buying a Harley Benton airborne wireless system for 89 bucks would possibly ever be. Most stages are in no way as big as this room that you're going to be on when you're the kind of guitar player that buys that system. Tremonti or Slash aren't going to get the airborne. Okay, their wireless systems are about 1500 bucks times seven because they have a different one on every guitar ridiculous so for you who is in the market for this thing this distance is already way 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 too far in your practice room you're not going to be that far away so i'm going to already say it works uh does it work through walls very likely not they're not meant for that but i'm going to go next door and see when it cuts out so I'm going to go and hang out with Leslie while playing this guitar that doesn't have a strap. done that with my 1,000 euro Sennheiser AVX wireless mic system for my laugh, it would have cut out already. Okay? I'm not shitting you. This, and I have two of those AVX systems. They're ridiculously expensive. And going next door like this, signal would have been gone. So, I'm impressed. Let's go further. You can't see where I'm going, but I'm telling you I'm going further. <laughs> out didn't it yes it cut out somewhere well I went all the way upstairs I mean there's like catacombs of stairs and walls and double walls 
Obviously, you would always, on any stage, have a direct line of contact and visibility to your amp, le amp, le fifi fi 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 Hey, 89 bucks, I'm impressed. It's outperforming my 1,000 euro mic system. What else do you need to know? Plug it in. Ah, oh, we need to know how to plug it into different guitars. Because this is... This is okay. This isn't bugging me. Too much. So, um, let's look at the standard Strat. This is a sta Strat because I can say that. <laughs> well, nowadays, who knows? If you look at the headstock, sometimes it's PRS-like. Who knows? Um, so, is that pretty? Is that awesome? It's not as bad as I thought. Ah, there was a little bit of a hiccup. The guitar's also badly out of tune. It, it could be worse. It's not pretty, but it could be worse. Um, so next check. Come on, come on. Come here. Is uh, Ibanez. The uh, Satriani, the Vi, and the new AZ series have these types of plugs, which are awesome. I absolutely love them. But does the airborne system work? Hey, that works. Bam, you're gone. That works. That, that's, that's not bad at all. Or you do this. So. <laughs> I'm good. Um, that's as complicated as jacks get. Everything else is totally gonna work. And since you can fold it to the side, wow. Impressive, I gotta say that. I thought it would be way more annoying on the guitar, way more annoying looking. Uh, it's not. Biggest gripe that I have is battery inside, which simply means take the included cable, some USB charger that we all now have, make sure that you're charging it. I don't say, want to say before you go to the gig. I would charge it before you go on stage. Have this with you. After the sound check, plug both of them in. That way you're on the safe side. Don't, don't take it to the gig. Leave this at home saying, hey, I got six hours. Because you might forget to turn this off. It happens. So that means sound check, hours later, it's empty. So just make sure that you're taking this to the gig and right before the gig, you're charging it. Other than that, I just looked at a, a competitive product, which would, for example, be the Line 6 Relay G10, which I tested and I very much like. But that, for example, um, has a bigger transmitter, or transmitter, I don't know how to say that, um, and the receiver uses a, a needs a wall ward, it needs a power supply, and is much bigger, goes on the amp, uh, on the other hand, the uh, transmitter gets charged in the receiver, so you stick that in there, but the fact that you have to plug that in, hmm means life, you have this big thing, and, you, <laughs> and uh, you, you have to plug it into the wall. It's more of a hassle. I th That's more for you know home use, but who wants to have this at home? So for me, having this in your gig bag, off. Off, no pair, no big time pairing, just go one, two, three, four, you're done. Um, for 89 bucks, you might even have a spare one if you wanted to. Um, yeah. That's kind of a no-brainer. If you really, really, really want to go wireless, uh, 89 bucks, small, in the gig bag, plus the cable, charge it before the gig. Worked way better than I expected. That's it. That's, that's my video. This is all I have to say. I already said way too much to this. Um, links below. 
Mr. Gugu, get your shirt. They have 750. None of them pretty, but pretty ridiculous. <laughs> um, I want to thank my patrons because you guys are awesome. And um, uh, that's, that's really all I have to say. Bye-bye. <laughs>